What's up guys? Welcome to your 33rd Android tutorial for the new Boston again with me Travis. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to introduce you guys to how to create a method within Java. Because we're going to want to create some methods down the road. But we're and this uh, basically this method that we're going to set up is just going to initialize all of our reference points from Java to the XML that we have set up here. So it's not really going to do anything new for our activity, but I just want to show you guys how we can set that up. And the first thing that we're going to do is define just our variable above our onCreate method because this new method that we're going to use, we want these uh we want to use these variables in both methods and make sure it's the same. So again, we're just going to go above the onCreate method and just set up our variables such as button Make sure it's the exact same as you guys have it spelled in here within our onCreate me create method. And we're just going to set them up. So we're going to say button and we're going to create a uh, button check command. Toggle button was uh, pass, what was it? Pass tog. Um, and then edit text was input and text view was called display. Now we're just going to delete basically uh, the pre-identifier or the mod modifier and also the type because we defined it up here so basically the final is saying that it's going to be final within this method since it's only used for one method, the onCreate method. Um, we we want basically we want both methods to have access to this variable so we don't need to set it as final no lo anymore so we're just gonna delete the modifier final again and the type for each of these variables and it's pretty much gonna do the same thing but now what we want to do is create a method that's basically going to hold these four commands within there so we're gonna call this method whatever you guys want Let's say like bacon and eggs. I don't know. Just because I'm really hungry right now. And again, a method will use kind of parentheses afterwards. So that's how we're going to set up our method called bacon and eggs. Even though it's kind of a terrible descript des description of what the method's going to do because it's basically just going to do these four things. But uh, you know, it's a good way to kind of clean up your code within the onCreate method. And uh, yeah, basically we're using this method called bacon and eggs, but we haven't set it up yet. So an easy way to create a method would just be to hover over it in Eclipse and it says create the method bacon and eggs. So we're going to click that and as, as you guys notice, um, down at the very bottom, after our onCreate method closes, there's this new method called bacon and eggs and it's private void. Again, void basically means it's just the method and uh, it's going to return well, it's bit, just think of it as just being a method for the most part. And private is going to say, you know, it's accessible to this class for the most part. So, again, instead of public, we could have there as well. So what we're going to do now is just copy or cut and paste this code right here where we set up those reference points to our XML. And we can just place it within this method that we just created called bacon and eggs. And now it's going to register all of those uh, all those basically bridges over to the XML. And so again when our program starts it's going to call this on create method and then it's going to set the content view and then it's going to be like oh bacon and eggs it's not going to do anything below this bacon and eggs method until it calls the bacon and eggs method and it's going to go shoot down here and be like oh what am I supposed to do? It's like oh okay I'll do this real quick and then it's going to shoot back up to this line of code and just continue onward. So I mean it's not Obviously, this didn't really change anything with our application, um, but I just wanted to show you guys, again, kind of emphasize the point that the final um, will have to be removed when we define it above our method on create so it can be used within multiple methods, and as well as how to set up your own personalized method. And then the next tutorial, we're going to get into another thing that we can do with Java is called implementing. Uh, we can implement a class, and I'll show you what that does. So again, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.